Hey, this is type 2 diabetes secret number 2. And it is insulin is not the answer for type 2 diabetes. Now, I know that is a radical suggestion. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail. I often think the, you know, the healthcare police are going to come in and, uh, you know, give me a ticket, but that hasn't happened yet, but that statement I just gave you, you know, insulin is not the answer for type 2 diabetes is probably the single reason why I get as much uh, the amount of hate mail I get from uh, mainstream doctors who say that uh, I'm crazy. Well, I'm not crazy because insulin is inflammatory. That's what no one seems to understand. And it's very plain. It's a scientific fact. Insulin is inflammatory. And if I'm giving you insulin, I am injecting you with something that's inflammatory. And all the consequences of that inflammation are something that could be horrible for your health. I mean, think about it. If you are type 2 diabetic, your doctor said, hey, you know, we've been trying to put you on these medications. Now we think you need to be put on insulin because your pancreas, you know, is just not doing a good job of making its own insulin. Okay, that's fine, except now we're injecting you with uh, essentially kerosene. And the inflammation from that insulin, uh, it causes an increased risk for stroke, increased risk for heart attack, and, and weren't those the risk factors for diabetes? And that wasn't that why they said they were going to give you insulin in the first place? Yeah, because it's a double-edged sword and it's something no one ever wants to talk about. It's certainly something that your doctor is never going to talk to you about, even though it's a plain scientific fact. The day that you take insulin, I've said this before, you should just get yourself a big calendar and you should mark it in big red letters because what's going to happen from there on, if you stay on insulin long enough, uh, is your health is going to decline. Your health is going to do a landslide. Because once you get put on insulin, that's almost like the last straw. So there are things you can do to stop this type 2 diabetes process. I didn't really try to go into that today. But, you know, the thing to remember is that your diabetes, right, your type 2 diabetes, your pre-diabetes, whatever you've been labeled with, it is a label. Okay? No one has, you know, diet is important, obviously and eating junk food and being sedentary, those are things for me that kind of go without saying. Obviously those are factors. But here's what your doctor probably isn't looking at. It's probably not looking at, okay, well, you know, cortisol is a big deal when it comes to insulin and making someone insulin resistant. You know, why would someone make too much cortisol? Can we test for that? Yes, you can. I mean, common reasons why someone makes too much cortisol are food sensitivities, uh, GI infections, Anything that, that makes you have an inflammatory response can make you make too much cortisol, which will make you insulin resistant, will make your pancreas work too hard, it'll make it burn out, and then you'll get insulin. And you see, this is a very vicious cycle that you can, you can unravel it. You can do that. But it takes a good doctor with a good detective mind, who has more than 10 minutes to spend with you, by the way. I mean, I'm not really blaming your doctor, but you know, we shouldn't be surprised. They've got 10 minutes to get you in, get you out, get your script, and get on down the road. So it's not really their fault, but I think that you can do better. So if you're frustrated with that approach, you'd like to spend more than 10 minutes with a doctor who wants to dig and find out why did it get this way? How can we really help you? Because most of you are probably just being told, hey, don't eat ice cream and go exercise and take this drug or take this insulin. And uh, that's not good enough in my book. So the secret today is that insulin is not the answer. Yes, it's used as a treatment, but the untold truth is this, it's inflammatory and it could very, very easily be making you worse.